you know, obviously we know that astrology is something that is sinful. When we think, and I'm not talking about astronomy. Astronomy is just the study of the stars. And there, there's nothing wrong with looking up at the stars, charting the stars, and even here God is making mention of the stars. The problem with astrology is when you are what the Bible calls an observer of times. And the Bible talks about observing times and using enchantments. And, and what people do with the astrology is they, they look up at the stars and they use them to predict the future. And all throughout the Bible, you'll find all these occultic practices of predicting the future through either looking at the stars or through, you know, cutting open animals and looking at the pieces of the animals. You know, the Bible talks about that also. You know, and, and really, it's, it's just us intruding into a realm that God does not want for us. You know, God wants us to study his word, and God wants us to leave the future up to him and just use God's word to guide and direct our paths, not to sit there and try to use mystical, magical ways of determining the future through astrology. And the people that are behind astrology, they're often tied in with the new age, with psychic readers, with those type of things, you know, reading of poems and, and being a psychic and astrology and Kabbalah and all this mysticism. And it's definitely not something that we want to be mixed up with because the Bible talks against the monthly prognosticators, for example, you know, and, and those that would gaze up at the stars and try to use them to determine, you know, uh, what we should do with our lives based on our, what's it called? Horoscope. You know, you get the newspaper, you look up your horoscope. It's ridiculous, okay? And you say, oh, no, it's true. If you read the way those things are worded, they're worded to where it could apply to everybody. <laughs> they word it really vague and, and equivocal, and so you read it, and you think like, yeah, that is kind of what happened last month. Wow, I need to pay attention to this, you know. I mean, it's like, a, it's like when you read a fortune cookie. It's so vague, it can pretty much apply to anyone. And, you know, it's, it's often, it's a lot more positive than it is negative. Like, you don't know, usually you don't go to Panda Express and open a fortune cookie. It's like, you know, today's going to be a really bad day. Like, just brace yourself. No, it's always just telling you, oh, you're going to meet a longtime friend and it's going to go, you know, you're going to have success in everything you do. You're going to find meaning in your closest, most deepest relationships, you know, just that kind of stuff. So we want to stay away from the astrology. But again, the, the, the constellations of the zodiac in and of themselves, there's nothing sinful or occultic about those constellations. It's when they are misused to be a monthly prognostication or uh, some kind of sorcery or, or astrology that, that it becomes sinful. So let's